Ooh, I am, I am, uh, I'm tired, but I'm not. So today is Sunday. I did my whole self care routine, um, actually yesterday. So, um, I have been on this self-care journey. The, the things that I have planned out for my week um, regarding my self-care, my mental healing, my mental, um, just staying mentally sane um, for, I, okay, so I started it actually at the beginning of the year. But it evolved, it evolved, it evolved. And now I got like this thing going because I was like, it's so much, it's overwhelming at how much things that I can do um, for self-care, self-healing, all of that. And when I got my hand on the resources, it was just like so much. So I said, okay, let me break it down by day. So um, Sunday, I have something Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc that I do for mental stimulation, for self-care, for um, putting my phone down, um, which has been really working, putting my phone down, being more intentional um, about what I'm doing um, when my daughter's here, not, um, not having her to, you know, me looking at my phone all the time. So it's really intentional that I do that but this whole you know i started it maybe like a week or two ago and i have been really doing it i have been making strides to um do something every day so sunday i have my um my strength app it is an app that was um provided by uh, my medical insurance um who gave us a free um, subscription for the year um, for this app and this app deals with a lot of um, things that we deal with like stress anxiety depression um, anger um, emotions things like that and they have lessons they have activities there and so I'm doing that on Sundays start my week Mondays Mondays are my single mother um articles so i also have this other app called um is s is e s m e um but it's a single mom's app where this um the founder founded the app she um created this you know forum this community um, and have all these resources for single moms. And you could type in whatever city that you're in and you can see the community that's in um, your city. So I think that's pretty good. Um, then, so that was Mondays. Tuesdays are my Bible days, I believe. Bible days. So Tuesdays is I choose to read a story story or a chapter from the Bible and I read and that will be my chapter of the week for me. Wednesdays is the Calm app. So I will do a meditation from the Calm app. Um, just like the My Strength app. Thursdays would be my um devotion days wednesdays and thursday i get mixed up i gotta look at my list but thursday let's just say thursday would be my devotional days so i would read my devotional books the ones that are like the 365 days devotional or i have this other one that i'm reading is 50 devotionals for um what is it called for loving something um but it's by lisa turkers and so i read all of my devotion books i read one entry per book for that night so i have about six of them that i read 
and um, I read one devotional. It's a single mom. It's a women devotional. No, not a single mom. It's just a motherhood. I got two motherhood ones, one woman um, and some other ones that I have, that I have devotions and they really help me. Fridays are my journaling in which I um, write down, you know, my thoughts, feelings of the week. Um, I used to journal every day. Um, I wanted to make it a point to journal every day, but it did not happen that way. Uh, <laughs> and so I was started slipping and I was starting to see, oh, I write in it every week. So now it'll be weekly on Friday. Let you know how my week went. <laughs> um, and then Saturdays, I read. So, um, which is one of my goals for the year that I said that I was going to start reading more and stop you know, watching, stop scrolling on social media a lot and just pick up a book and read. This past Saturday, oh my gosh, like I went outside on my patio and I brought my book and my citronella candle that I was sitting by my garden and I was reading and I said, that was just so amazing. That was truly, that was an amazing experience. Like I was like, oh my gosh. I do this every Saturday. So, um, and then back on Sunday. So I am really, really, really um, actually on that path and determined to be on that path and doing something every day. And I feel so good about it because last year I wasn't doing anything. It felt like last year I was just trying to survive. Like, you know, the pandemic hit and even before the pandemic hit, it was just like me trying to survive as like this single mom. And I like, I don't know how to do it. I'm trying to think of things that I can be more active with her. So on top of the things that I do, Mondays, um, we, well, this is her dance class. So Mondays are out, but Tuesdays we go outside or we um, do something inside. Wednesdays is our arts and crafts. Thursdays is our game day, um, you know, or whatever she want to play dollhouse or whatever that's that fridays is our movie nights and our um you know popcorn girls night you know we do nails and stuff like that saturdays start going to the park start doing you know um dates so still with that i'm also being intentional about her which makes me feel awesome it makes me feel so awesome that as of this year I know that I'm doing better than I did last year. And um, like I was saying, though, you know, before the pandemic hit, it was like me just trying to survive. Like, I'm still trying to figure out ways that I can do stuff. That's I was still trying to do it. Um, and then the pandemic hit and you got this whole anxiety because we didn't know what COVID was. And everybody was like, you know, buying toilet, buying up all the groceries, buying up all the toilet paper, running with their, you know, heads cut off. And I was just like panicked along with being a single mom. Then she's, you know, going to another household and I'm just like panicked all the way around. Cause I'm like, what is even going on in this world? And then, you know, so I say, you know what? I didn't have time where I took time for myself, took baths, you know, did all of this stuff. And I see myself even from last year, and it's making a huge, huge difference and impact. So I encourage um, um, the single moms to find a regimen, find something that, you know, you know that you could do. Don't start with something like, I can't reach this. I can't reach this. Like I was really trying to do that journaling every day. That's something clearly I couldn't do. But I found things that, you know, when in, in my time where I was like, okay, what can I do? What can I do to help my mental health, to help, you know, uh, my anxiety, help, you know, PTSD, things like that. What can I do to help, help my sanity? Um, things that, you know, I can, I can do before bed, sacrifice, put down my phone, stop scrolling, aimless hours, <laughs> aimless hours on end. We do them like this. We close the app. We turn it back on. We close the app. You know, I said, you know what? I can sacrifice that and I can do some of this. I can sit, you know, at the feet of Jesus on Tuesday. Um, you know, I pray every day. You know, I can read my devotionals. You know, it's just things that like I'm intentionally doing and it's really, really, really helping me. So I encourage um, 
you as well to, you know, find something that works for you. Find something that, you know, you can, and my story could be an example. Like maybe, you know, Mondays you can do this or Tuesdays. Okay, this is what I'm going to do with my child and just start little and then it will grow. Um, and that's what I did. So I just wanted to kind of share that because um, I think it's necessary um, for us, um, us women, us single moms, um, us moms to, you know, find something where we're like, okay, y'all, y'all are handled. Family is handled. Let me go and do what I have to do, um, to make myself better for my family. So, uh, I hope everybody has a good night. <laughs>